Root Canal Tooth decay, broken teeth, large fillings, or trauma can all damage the nerves of your teeth. If the nerve of a tooth is damaged beyond healing, your dentist may recommend that you have a root canal to save your tooth. Although people commonly dread the expense and discomfort of root canal therapy, the truth is that a root canal is less painful and less expensive than replacing a lost tooth. You may think that a dead nerve can't hurt, but once a nerve dies, it can no longer alert you when bacteria begin to infect the canals inside your tooth. As they multiply, your body tries to fight the bacteria. As in any other infection, the body's battle to defend itself can cause an abscess that builds pressure. Not only does the abscess hurt, it can also push the tooth out of socket. That tooth then becomes the first to make contact when you chew, which puts more pressure on the abscess and causes a lot of pain. Root canal therapy is necessary because the body cannot cleanse the root canals by itself, no matter how much it fights. Fortunately, a root canal does not have to be as painful as we commonly think. During a root canal, your dentist uses a special cleaning instrument to clear the bacteria out of the canal. Then she or he will fill the canal with a sealant and place a temporary filling to give the infected area time to heal. Many patients are tempted to stop here once the discomfort is passed, but that's a mistake. The following final steps should take place to protect your tooth from future tooth decay or other recurrence of symptoms. After a few days, and perhaps some discomfort, the infected area heals and is now ready for a permanent repair. Your dentist will remove the temporary filling and give you a permanent core. She or he may also install posts in the canals to support the new core. The last step is to insert a crown to protect the tooth.